hello guys welcome to this video to this online tool alpha very quickly in this video i just want to show you how i build a private smtp server which i use in sending on emails in the previous video i was explaining um, in method a on how you can build your own smtp server which is the power mta so but right now i'm going to be telling you how you can do this again with the second method the second method is by uploading on your win scp and the rest so i want to make this video very short and very detailed to a bit so in case if you want to get the full course of this you can actually check on the description below this video and reach me on my whatsapp or any other social media which you prefer so if this is your first time of checking this video kindly do it by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified if post a video like this so without wasting much of your time today let's get to work what are the things you need one the first thing we need is um vps we need a vps and we need a domain so my vps i got it from OVH and my domain i'll be using the name jeep so now the first thing is this the ip and i'm going to use byte vice and so i'll be using win scp for my uploading so now this is my byte file so i'm going to put the ip which i want to use and centos then i'm going to put the password there's a password we have to use in this video now so um putting the password in this uh, then we're going to log in so accept and save Okay, the first thing we need to do right here is that we need to set our root login. So instead of we logging in as CentOS, we have to log in as root. To be. So I'm changing the password now. Just type the password and enter, and you can retire. Enter. So after you've done this, so we're going to install this. Enter. So once this is done, you put this command and you press Ctrl W to save your roots, and you can search for roots and uh, check. You can see permit roots. It's now as ash which you are good to go. So you can Ctrl X to exit this, and so those service will load to reload all this, and we can now reboot. So rebooting puts your password, your initial password. Okay, so you copy this and you put the password and enter good so we can't close this now and we're going back to this okay now you wait a bit for the whole thing to be rebooted and we're going to log in as a uh, this time around by putting your own set password so now we click on login and uh Going to open a new terminal console so but before we go now let's copy this ip this is the ip we'll be using and go and copy your domain that you'll be using so i'm going to be pasting the ip right here and uh, the domain we're going to be using also so i think we'll be using this domain i'll be using this domain now the next thing you will do is to set your name server so to set your name server you run this command sudo yum name server so i'm going to do chart start now okay so forget to open new terminal from here and run this you can see name server sorry mean host name is now set so now we'll go on our domain dns record to set our host name so to do that uh, i believe you should know how you can do that you do that from this place you had name server and blah 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 you don't so i'm going to do that right now. so um right now once that is done you set your name server we're going to run a update command to update all our sudo yum so currently updating is just press y which is yes and update will continue from there okay from here you run the other command which is the install the pill so which is running right now then you run the next command line 
don't worry all this is packed in our course so if you actually want to get our course if you want to know how you can build your own server you can check the description below to reach on our telegram whatsapp skype or you can contact on icq we'll be ready to give the course to you so while the other command is running i'll be logging in on my scp using this host name then the username will be root while my password so let's log in okay login done still waiting for it okay it's completed here yeah? so the next thing now is to upload our um power empty file so i'm going to be using webcp to do that so and uh okay i'm going to upgrade it load it here and pass this out okay so i'm going to be doing this and uh, move it in there okay so wait for it to be completed you can see the progress is strained here but while this one is uploading let's try and do our configuration then we can easily run our command and our smtp will be ready then so on this config file we're going to force to the domain and our new domain name that we are using here is this and i'm going to paste it here the replace all from this replace all and close this okay then we we'll go in the here this is our ip section control h and uh, our ip is the ip address we're using and uh, paste it here and also replace all for this and that's all okay then you come down here for your um come down here for your username and password you're going to set it i'm going to do all that now so this is the username and the password we're going to be using for this okay still waiting for this to be completed now this is done so the next thing to do is to install this so i'm going to install this now so now our installation is done so the next thing to do is to install our file sorry is to put in our file in here so i'm going to just be putting the file and the license there so now once everything is done so you right click to open your config file so and uh, on opening this we're going to copy our new config file which we've edited you just going to control a and control c and uh, go in back here on the config and what you what will do here is to paste the new command line we will just do and save this so once this is saved you can see saving once this is done just close it up okay this is done now so let's go back to our command line and type service the mta start and let's see what we're going to have you can see it's okay which means our smtp is up and running so let's try to make a test for this let's send a test and see if the smtp is actually working so i'll be using um, ultra miller software okay so new sender okay so the host is going to be ip or you use your um domain name so which is this and port is 2525 username is admin and the password is what we just set so send from will now be info see your domain.com is our domain dot this dot us and send from competition our reply to can be um okay can be same as this let's use this for now copy this and paste then it's the same text and send test to this gmail you can see it shows send test sources okay so to confirm this we'll open our browser open firefox browser and i'm going to login in to my 